fuel-fueled vehicles may seem like a stretch for a small agency like ours, as our core service is for the elderly and people with disabilities. <clears throat> However, we believe in innovation here. That's why we are so proud to be a part of this tremendous project. Uh, it's going to be. celebrating one little victory, one particular vehicle um, out front. But what we're celebrating beyond that is the ingenuity, the drive, the desire uh, to make this country uh, a stronger and better place. Technology has allowed for people to live longer, but that always doesn't turn into a better quality of life. What you have accomplished here today deals with innovation uh, and with compassion and an understanding of what people's lives are all about. I think it's a positive change because now the, I can walk onto the bus, I don't have to walk up steps, and I can sit there and, and share with one another. So I think it's a positive, a real positive change. When, it, when you're talking about innovation, it takes two things. It takes vision and it takes persistence. Vision to see what is coming and what we need to do as a nation, but boy, it takes persistence. Uh. This technology will over time achieve real financial savings to the Greater New Haven Transit District that can be reinvested back into service improvements for transit customers. My 93-year-old dad came to visit us recently, and from the moment he arrived, he made it known that he wanted to ride on the hydrogen bus. So one day I brought him to the office and we took a short ride. He was so pleased. As I watched him get off the bus, I remembered a sepia-toned photograph of him as a little boy sitting on an old workhorse on an Iowa farm where he grew up. That recollection made me realize something. At 93, my dad is part of what has come to be known as the greatest generation, a generation that makes up a large part of the population the Greater New Haven Transit District serves. The high ride buses route will offer a new and needed service to those folks and to other Hamden citizens. So when those riders of a certain age have used this service to go to the supermarket or the beauty shop, the pharmacy or the Citizens Bank, and they disembark at the end of their trip, we will have had the honor of taking some of them from horses to hydrogen. <laughs>